Hey, what is going on guys? It's Apollo One, and today we have for you a triple DNA bomb on the map Horizon by Carnage Enigma. Make sure to go to his channel and check him out. He's got some great stuff over there. He is really putting in some good work recently with commentaries and gameplays. It mean a lot to myself as well as to him if you'd go over there and support his channel. And of course, if you're new to Carnage Clan, make sure to subscribe here. Drop a like. Really does help us out. Let's shoot for a thousand likes. And uh, also, Instagram, Twitter, both links for the Carnage Clan Instagram, Carnage Clan Twitter are down below. Guys, now that it's starting to get to the summer months, we are going to be doing a lot of more giveaways, and a lot of giveaways will take place on Twitter and Instagram. So in order for you not to miss out on those, you have to be following us, of course. So make sure to do that. You don't want to forget about that and then, you know, miss out on possibly or potentially winning something pretty nice in these next few months because there's going to be a lot of giveaways, I promise that. Uh, so today, guys, I want to be talking about something that is actually bothering me, but is also very exciting news for many. And that is the Xbox One Slim. Now, I'm going to basically be reading right off an article it says as we are one month away from the electronic entertainment expo which is considered e3 as you guys probably know it gaming media has speculated the announcement of the xbox one slim as microsoft's big ticket item during the conference that will run from june 16th through the 18th now as you guys probably know that's that's like a few weeks away and <laughs> recently actually over the past like year or like like months and months and months i have been debating on whether or not to get the playstation 4 or xbox one i've tweeted out so many times saying okay guys finally made up my mind i'm getting the PlayStation 4. I've said the same for Xbox One and I never did it. I never bought it because I was still second guessing my decision and I wanted to make sure I was happy with what I was going to get and then go from there because I don't know. I just don't want to get both consoles really. I don't like just blowing money like that and uh, you know, I want to buy the one that I actually am going to be happy with and I'm buying for the right reasons. So just recently in like the last two weeks, I've finally made my decision. I want to get the Xbox One. No doubt about it. That's the console I like and like I just want that one over the PlayStation 4 and and, um, I, you know, was, like, happy with this decision. I was gonna get it, uh, the first week that I was out of school, which is going to be, like, this week, basically. <laughs> then I found this article that the Xbox One Slim was going to be potentially getting announced at E3, and I was just like, you have got to be kidding me. Now I have to, like, I finally decided the console I want to get. I can finally get it, start getting updated, and, and get the console installed at my house, and, uh, you know, sign in, do all the things I need to do, and just play around with a new console, a new toy. And then, of course, there's something else that's gonna keep me from getting it because honestly I do want to have like the newest and best one that is out there for the Xbox one obviously the Xbox one slim would be the best in my opinion at least and uh you know one thing I want to say actually I'm sorry if you bought the consoles and I hope hopefully this doesn't insult too many people but I am so glad I didn't buy the consoles right off the start I almost did I almost pre-ordered I'm so glad I didn't spend five to six hundred dollars on a new console that's just like literally I'm so thankful I didn't do that and it just goes to show that sometimes waiting and not just having to be the first person really does does benefit you in the long run because it saves you money and sometimes there's issues with first generation consoles or you know the brand new product and uh you know it just goes to show that sometimes be patient and, and let things blow over first and uh, our society really jumps on things right away it has to be like it has to have the brand new you know gadget or the newest version the best version the most expensive version it has to have it the second it comes out or it has to be the first we have people buying iphone iphone uh, fives or whatever uh it's like as soon as they come out being the first person to have it and they buy it for like $10,000 when three days later, everybody gets the same thing for 500 bucks. So people really don't respect money. They just waste money and it's stupid. So I just want to throw that out there. Uh, but yeah, the Xbox One Slim. Now I have to sit around and I have to wait to see if they actually announce this at E3, which I'm kind of guessing they will. Uh, the only other concern about this is I was looking forward and happy about only spending like 300 bucks on this Xbox One console. But now with this Xbox One Slim coming out, you know, it's most likely gonna... Actually, I don't know this as a fact. If you guys know from like when the Xbox 360 I don't know if there was like a fatter version of the Xbox 360. I don't know. But, you know, do you think, leave down in the comment section below, do you think that the Xbox One Slim is going to be a lot cheaper than the, just the Xbox One? Or is it going to be the same price? Because honestly, like, part of me wants to say that it makes sense to be the same price and it would just be more of a marketing strategy for them to just kind of re, re, uh, boost the sales for Xbox Ones and not necessarily make more money per console, but just get more people to start buying Xbox Ones again. Or will, you know, since it's a brand new product, will it be uh, a, a more expensive price than the Xbox One that's out as of now? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really be curious on that because I, now I just don't know what to do because if it's going to be the same price and just like be 300 bucks, there's no doubt in my mind I, I'm going to wait until June 16th or at E3 for them to announce this thing so I can buy it then. But if it's like 600 bucks, I'm just going to get an Xbox One. I don't care that much. It's not like I'm going to be carrying this thing around and it's going to be tiring me out. You know, <laughs> it doesn't matter too much to me. But, uh, you know, if it's the same price, I definitely want to get the newest version 
version uh, of the console. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's commentary and gameplay. Drop a like, let's shoot for a thousand. If not, that's completely fine. Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Xbox One Slim. I put a picture up on screen. Now, remember, this is just a fan's rendering of the console. It's not actually what it's going to look like, but it might look pretty similar. You never know. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, hope you're having a great day. Drop a like on today's video. Subscribe to Carnage Clan if you are new, and I'll see you later.